Hi friends! Today we're going to do a plan with me for the week of March 9th through the 15th. This is actually last week's view and if you watched our video from last week you'll see that I did add a few things in here. I've been doing a couple of buddy reads so I've got those written in here and then marking off what I read pages wise that day. I've marked off a couple of things that I actually was able to complete this week. Not a lot of what I was supposed to complete but some of it which is kind of typically how it goes which is why I wanted to go ahead and show you this as well. For instance up here you'll see scenes 26 through 41 and I've only marked off 26 and 27. I didn't exactly expect to get to 41 this week. I did expect to make it more than 27 but that's outside of the point. But 41 is the number of scenes that are actually in the book so I just wrote to 41. In here I did a couple of my edits for my videos but not all of them that I was supposed to do but I did get my cleanup done for filming for my bookshelf tour which also I didn't film this week probably doing that later today and down here we have a couple of the books that I had intended on getting to this week some of them I finished but all of them have been started so let's go to next week and take these out and get started much like last week I kind of went ahead and did a plan on some wax paper just so that we're not here for three hours of me flipping through books. Now my sister actually recently ordered me the the spring line of the Happy Planner came out with clear pages so that like they have the lines on them of the lit different layouts that they have available or the pages themselves are clear so that you can do this on those without using wax paper. And I wasn't going to buy them because I mean the wax paper is working fine. I did like the idea of having the layout but the wax paper was working fine but my sister decided that she wanted to buy them so that's a thing that's happening. Uh, I should be getting those relatively soon. I'll be using those hopefully with next week's plan with me but we'll see what happens. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take to come in but eh, we'll get it when we get it. This sticker I actually used, this was a checklist sticker that had stars on it for the checklist but I'm using it to cover up this errand spot because that's how I roll now. That's the thing with, with stickers, whether they're happy planner stickers or otherwise, just use them for whatever you need to use them for and don't worry about like they're, what they're actually necessary, necessarily for. Whatever you want to use them for is whatever they're meant to be. I don't think this sticker is actually meant for this spot either. It's a little long but I'm not exactly thrilled with the layout that I have this week especially on this side but it's just I really wanted to use my free spirit book. Um, I haven't used it yet since we started doing these. I really enjoy free spirit. It is my favorite sticker book to date because it, of the colors in it. They're like darker colors that aren't quite as muted. A lot of happy planner colors are extremely muted and I can't stand it. I like having the darker fuller depth of color. But yeah I wanted to use my free spirit book but I couldn't really find great stickers that were decorative stickers so we just kind of um, the deco in the Free Spirit is kind of weird. It's mostly constellations, which is fine, but I don't know. I just don't really like the constellations as a deco when they're just like a weird... I don't, this is not my favorite thing. So I was just kind of going through it trying to find other things that I wanted to use as the deco, but I'm pretty happy with what I ended up with. Ask me to do this part, my favorite part where I get to count and mess numbers up. Now if you've seen these before you see me count these every week and the reason why I count them every week is because this sticker up here is always a different size and sometimes it covers zero of these, sometimes it covers one, sometimes it covers two, so I just try to count it so I know where we're at. If you are not familiar with Sarah Cannon's HB90 planning method, you will not necessarily understand what we're doing here. Sarah's has the channel Heart Breathings. I will link that in the description box below. And she does a planning course called the HB90 planning method. And it essentially is a planning method for doing quarterly goals. And I took that class at the end of last year 
Um, she actually has updated it recently, so it went from like a three-day class to a seven-day class. But uh, anytime you sign up for the class, you get access for life. So like this quarter coming up, if I want to sit through the class again and take it, even though it's a seven-day class now, I can do that as well. Which is cool and very nice of Sarah. But that's what this area over here is for. Um, you decide what your three main goals are and then you break those goals down into tasks and then this is where I list the tasks that I have and we'll go over those. Essentially, I have different colored post-it notes for each of my tasks and these are the three colors that I have for my different tasks. So I use them for putting things on here as well. The main thing is that I need to do some scene work still, always, forever. So I know I finished 27 last month, so I need to write the rest of them on here to 41. Again, I know I probably won't get to 41 this week, but I just like to have them on there so that if I want to mark them off, I can. I was previously doing like in a grouping, so like scene 31 through 35 and 36 through 38, and that just was not as much fun because I didn't get to mark stuff off as much. So I changed it. I'm allowed to do that. I'm not going to write in what I'm editing or filming yet because that will spoil next week's videos for you even though you already know that bookshelf tour to come. The books that I'm currently reading that I need to finish are Beauty of Darkness which I'm doing as a buddy read um, so we're just doing like a hundred pages of that a day uh, and a mirror which I'm also buddy reading and we're doing like 50 or so pages of that a day and I also need to finish Welcome to Lagos for our book club. I'm also probably going to read, whoops, I can't spell. And then there were none, which is a book for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's Patreon book club that we're doing this month as well. So I will probably read that next because I had got that on the audiobook earlier this week. Oh, Jesus, you can't see that. Again, over here, I took one of the bullet list checkpoint star things to cover where this says dinner plans. And this is where I write my YouTube schedule for the week. Uh, some weeks it changes, but most of the time it does stay the same. And then just a few other things on here. I know on Wednesday we are doing, it's crooked as crap, it's cool, um, we're having a group chat at 6 for the girls in my writing group, um, just kind of getting together and catching up, talking about some things, getting, it's been a minute since we've had a live chat where we just kind of talked and hung out, so we're doing that this week. And then, as always, live sprints with Becca and Henna on Tuesday. I just spelled Becca's name way wrong. I'm going to need some white out. This is why <laughs> I don't worry about my handwriting. I'm not, like, I don't try to make everything super pretty. I'm not scared of using white out in my planner. It's fine. And it, it's, it's not a big deal. It's mainly for me and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's at six. And then Thursday is typically the live sprints with Laura and Kevin. And I think this week is maybe on Laura's channel. I try to, with both of these, with Becca and Hannah and with Laura and Kevin, I try to write whichever one channel that it's on that week. I try to write their name first but I think these are both completely backwards, so. I didn't check before. I did this, which is what I normally do. I didn't check, so I don't know for sure, but that that is typically what I try to do, is to write the one that's actually hosting the sprints first. But this week, no, Jessica just did whatever the heck she wanted to do. Um, and then just this little Wonder Seeker sticker over here is a little bit of deco. We've got a couple of feathers for deco. Get all those out of my way. 
And I think that that is everything that we need to do to this that I can do on camera without ruining any of the surprises for you for next week. So let's get these back on the discs. Okay, we've got these back on the discs. There's one other thing that I do. Um, if you notice, I have this paper clip up here. And I typically, a lot of people keep these in the day that they're on. And I hate flipping to a page and having to look through this. So I always put it on the week before and then use my little paper clip. It's a magnetic bookmark, technically, um, and stick it at the top. And so whenever I open that, it opens to the page that we're on versus having the divider in the middle. It's just my thing. I don't like having it. Uh, it just, it, I, I, I just don't like this look. I don't like the look of having the divider in the middle of the day that we're on. So I just, I just, I don't do it. I just put the thing there. And then when I open, it's to the page that we're on. And that makes me super happy with this. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!